Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you are new. Hi, my name is Nikki, and I post a variety of different types of videos here on my channel. But today I am going to be doing another hamster video and as you guys can already tell from the title, today I am going to be making Rhino yet another hamster bin cage. Now I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to make a hamster lid go from this to a fully ventilated lid. Now this is actually the top to the bin cage that I used for my hamster a few years ago. I'm gonna try to show it to you guys. It looks like this. So if you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I have. I'll put some pictures up so you can understand. But I have Rhino's main cage, which is a 105 quart bin cage. And then I have his smaller bin that I just kind of used as an add-on. And I do like the add-on cage, but it is like not the highest. So I can't put as much bedding in there as I wish I could. I can't really fit a wheel in there either. So it kind of does limit me because that cage is a little smaller and it was just meant to be an add-on. But since I already do have this cage and it's just kind of been like sitting in my attic for a while, just storing hamster supplies, I thought, you know what, since it already has a hole on the side, so it's already gonna be amazing for connecting, like it's gonna be super easy. So I can connect it right now actually if I wanted to. But I need to make sure that the lid is properly ventilated because right now all it has is the holes. And a lot of people do have holes, but I personally would recommend getting actual mesh because it allows for a lot more ventilation. It doesn't trap the smells as much. So I'm gonna be converting this into a fully good ventilated lid. And then in my next video, I'm going to be adding it onto Rhino's cage and doing kind of a part two to updating my hamster's cage. Honestly, cutting plastic is like my least favorite thing ever, but I really wanna make this a good functioning lid. So let's go ahead and get on to the video. So I'm currently in my garage and I'm just gonna show you guys everything you need to turn your bin cage lid into a actually good ventilated one with mesh. So obviously you're gonna need to get some wire mesh. I've had this one for several years and it works great. It's, um, I believe this is the half inch wire mesh. Just make sure that it's pretty small. Then we also have these zip ties, which I'm going to be using to zip tie this to that once I'm done. We have some duct tape. Now, since I am doing it with a drill, and you might be confused as to how I'm going to do this with a drill, I'll explain in a second, but I'm gonna need this because the edges are probably not going to be the straightest. So just kind of for aesthetic value, I think I'm gonna put this on there. And then of course, I'm gonna need a drill and then this. And I'm gonna get a Sharpie to kind of mark out where exactly I want to have the mesh. So like I mentioned, I just grabbed a marker and I grabbed this level, but you can obviously use a ruler. And I just marked out where I want the mesh to be. I'm gonna go ahead and take my drill. By the way, if you're younger than me at 16, definitely get parents permission and supervision before doing this. And by the way, I have some cardboard underneath this just so that it doesn't go through the concrete or anything and damage the drill. So I'm just gonna get started and what I'm gonna do is with the drill, I'm literally just gonna go around the whole entire thing. It's gonna take some time, it's gonna be tedious. Hopefully I can get it done. I'm almost to the edge of right here. So I've almost done one whole side and I literally just had like an epiphany because I have been doing like individual holes and then connecting them, but I actually tried it where I just like pulled the drill continuously downwards and it just worked so much better. So I'm gonna try to show you guys that just in case you are doing it the way I am, which is definitely not the most effective way to do it. It does not get the cleanest of edges, but that's why I have the duct tape at the end. So anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys how I've been doing it now. So like I already mentioned, this is definitely not the way you're supposed to use a drill. 
Um, I just simply do not have any other tools that I can really use. And last time I tried using a knife and heating it and it just did not go very well because it just took me so, so long. So um, I just, like I said, I made do with what I had. Um, but if you guys have other power tools, obviously use those. Oh my gosh, I'm almost done. Finally, it is finished. Why am I zooming you guys in? Yes, finally, you guys, it's finished. Now, don't get me wrong, it is not pretty, but it'll get the job done once I clean it up a bit. Now, if you're doing this the same way I am, again, not the best way, but it's what I have. So if you're doing it like this, I would recommend kind of like picking off some of the plastic on the edges and maybe getting like some sandpaper and like filing it down or something. So I'm just gonna kind of like pick out the edges, make sure I get most of the large plastic pieces off. I think that it would, it's just gonna be way easier for me to just put some duct tape around it, make the edge look really clean and then drill a couple more holes so that I can put the zip ties on. As you guys can see, the next thing that I did was I just took some duct tape and I cut it and I put it along the edges just so that it looked a little cleaner. Now, if you already have a clean edge with the tools that you used, just forget about this step. Um, I just did this because I didn't like looking at the rough looking edges. So yeah, and then I took um, my drill again and I just drilled some holes around the edges. And this is for the zip ties that I'm going to put on the lid later. Next, I just took my wire mesh and I laid it down on the lid so that I knew exactly where I needed to mark it out to make sure that it was large enough to cover the entire hole in the lid. Um, and then I took some wire cutters and I just cut around where I marked. finally finished the cage at least the lid that's really all I worked on but this is what it ended up looking like honestly I'm pretty proud of myself I've never actually made a bin cage all by myself I've like always had some sort of help with it so I'm really happy with it and I cannot wait to add this to Rhino's cage again I know I already said this but this is not going to be Rhino's main cage. This is simply going to be added on to the cage that he already has. And I'm gonna be removing the smaller bin cage that was already there. Definitely check back for my next video where I am going to be adding it in. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.